Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in Bilvavi Mishkan Evne. And we mentioned yesterday that inside every single one of us there is this feeling and this chush, this understanding that we are misled to an extent in the way that we look at ourselves. And everybody has a little bit of a feeling, she bores atzma, that number one, a person created themselves. They were created on their own without the, without the will of the Reba in Shailam. And this, says Bilvavi, must be uprooted from inside of a person so that we live with the understanding there's a Bari Oilam, a creator, and he created us. These Kaychais, these strengths which exist inside each and every one of us. You don't find these things revealed by everyone who believes in Hashem. And therefore a person thinks, I don't have to work on this. I believe in Hashem, that's good enough. I'm not struggling with, did I create myself? Was I created on my own? I, certainly I must believe that there's a Bari Oilam, there's a creator of the world, and therefore a person decides not to work on solidifying his Amuna in the proper way. And therefore he skips over this avoid, this work that he must do on himself. And immediately he starts working on much loftier places in his avoid Hashem. This thought and this form of avoid of service of Hashem. Yeshba Taus Yesidis has a very fundamental mistake. If you avoid the conflict of what you truly believe in, just going to the loftier places of Amuna, you are building a foundation that is mistaken. Even though that these thoughts that we're talking about where a person believes that he created himself or was created by something else just on its own with Adar Kodesh Baruch Hu, even though that you don't find these revealed by Kol Maimin, by all the believers of Klal Yisrael, nevertheless, in the depths of one's soul, has to be that they're around. This nagging and gnawing Machshava thought that goes is counterintuitive to one's real amuna. It's there. And if a person doesn't work on these kaiches on these strengths, and he skips and jumps over them, he leaves this spiritual. Halal, the space and the step, the next step or stage he has to take, he leaves it empty because he doesn't build on the right foundations. The kol halal v'shleverek and any halal, any cavernous space, and any shleva, any any stage that remains empty, it 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 creates or it lacks the proper foundations, and a strong, solid binyan building in the world of a person's avayda of their service of Hashem. If you don't deal with the matters at hand, says Bilvavi, if you don't work on deepening and widening the yisaydas, the foundations of your avayda Hashem, you gloss over, or you don't even pay any attention to this internal struggle that's going on behind the scenes, so then the foundations of your Avaida are going to be quite shaky. And therefore, the proper way to create the foundations. Don't skip over any one of the steps that you need to. Even those that are seem so simple, of course, I believe in the Rebbeinu Shalom. HaKadosh Baruch Hu created me and He runs me and He made me into this world and He's running the world the way that it is. Of course, who doesn't believe that? Shein tzarech la'avod olav. You think, I don't have to work on that really at all. Ki be'emes ein shlav she'ein tzarech la'avod by. However, He concludes, there's not a single step 
or stage or level that a person needs to grow, it needs to accomplish in life that doesn't require Avaida hard work to be able to get there. So although that you think, ah, I'm not struggling with this, not a big deal, I believe in Hashem. Of course you believe in Hashem. But you can believe deeper in Hashem and you can unwind and undo and get rid of things that are counterintuitive to your Avaida's Hashem. And in that zechus, says the Bilvavi Mishkanevna, then you'll be climbing shlav after shlav, one step, one level after the next. You'll have the, uh, this halal, the space will be filled with kedusha. it'll be filled with Avodah Hashem, and in that way, Ve'ez Hashem, you'll pull out the koichai sanefesh of Amuna that lie inside each and every one of us. Have a wonderful day.